Hello, my name is Vicki Ayers. I am the Minutes Matter QuickBooks and Quoting Specialist. I will demonstrate this quick video tip in QuickBooks Premier 2014. QuickBooks 2014 has some enhanced editing features for email templates. Let me show you how it works. If you go to your Edit Preferences and choose Send Forms, and the Company Preferences tab, you'll see a drop-down menu where you can choose the different kinds of transactions that you might want to email and you might want to edit the default template that comes up automatically. So I'm going to choose the Estimate template. And the estimate template, I've done a couple things here. I've told it to BCC my email address every time I send something out of QuickBooks. That way I can create a, a paper trail, a, a digital paper trail, of the emails that I've sent to my customers through QuickBooks. You can edit this basic template, or you can add a template by clicking on the bottom button. I'm going to show you what the basic template looks like by choosing edit and you can see that you can put any kind of subject line to be the default right here. You can choose whether you say dear first name or you can come in and edit that to first and last, last and first, whatever would be how you would want to address people in general. Remember that if you put in name first on a template and you don't enter customers names, you only create the um, you only create the customer name in the customer name field. I'll show you that in just a minute. It won't autofill anything here. It'll say something like dear customer, which would be just a little cold. So remember when you set up your customer to fill in as many of the fields as you possibly can so these templates will come out with something to merge into those fields. Now we're just going to say cancel and we'll go back and say let's add a template. We want to give our template a name so we know that this template is for estimates and it is using the first name and it's our default. So anything that when you see this in a list it would make sense to you to choose it. The subject line defaults to merging the estimate number here and you can add other fields where you like. So if you wanted to put in any of this other information, the transaction total uh, something like that, you could add that to this. So they've told, dis, defaulted in this template to the name first and last, and we'll just insert the field there for name first. So I highlighted where I want it, and then I went down and said insert the field here. And you can add something to this template, maybe uh, your tagline. So if you have uh, some kind of verbiage that you like to put at the bottom, you're, you can add more things to it. We can't, still can't add an image like a, um, a logo or something to make it a little prettier, but we can do a lot more as far as inserting fields and things like that. So let's save that. Now you have a template that you customized and that is your current default. Going to edit this one and there's no check mark for the default right there. We defaulted our new one. Oops. So now we have our template. You can go through and choose all the other kinds of things and edit them that you might want to send. You do invoices, edit that one, get it just like you like it. If you send sales receipts, do the same thing here.
Now, when you're in an estimate and you want to email, let's go back to find an estimate and you want to email it, you can put the email address in here. This one didn't, this particular customer didn't have an email address, so I'll just add mine. That's another case where when you don't have things entered in ahead of time, it won't create it automatically for you or, or do it automatically. Let's say OK. So it's thinking about our email. And here it comes up with our template. Notice it says, Dear Customer. That's where it couldn't find a first name, so it just pops something in. But our tagline did come in, and our website and our phone number came up at the bottom automatically. Let me show you the setup where you want to make sure that the items are set in there for your customers so these things will be fast and easy. I'm going to just close this. I'm not going to send it. So if we go back, this is Drexel Furniture Miller Kitchen. So if we go into our customer center and we look at Drexel Furniture Miller Kitchen, you can see when I click on the edit button that we don't have the customer's first name. I'll add a name here. And this would be the contact person that we want to have things go to. Now, it took the email that I created on the fly in that email and inserted it here. If you had someone else's email or their email, then you would want to put it in here. And 2014 also has kind of a nice uh, feature that you can um, have more than one email. You can have alternate emails that uh, you can enter in for one customer. I really like that in 2014. So then we would say OK. We're back in our estimate and now we can say email and you can see that the change that I made to the customer setup, it knows the customer's first name now and inserted everything. I hope you've enjoyed this quick video and that it helps you make your business easier and more profitable.